is up and welcome back to my channel for another speed build so today we are building a house for the caliente family well caliente slash lothario family in the sims 4 and the reason i'm building them a new house is because i know i've said this so many times and you're probably wondering what happened <laughs> i've said i want to do a save file which you know most builders and youtubers are doing and want to do but um i just it's very time consuming obviously it it takes a hot minute <laughs> so do not expect a save file anytime soon um literally anytime soon like for real do not <laughs> expect this within a few months like it probably will take a year <laughs> because i want to fill up all the worlds and you know, build houses, community lots, and I was thinking back when I first started what I thought was going to be my save file, I was renovating the houses um, that EA had created, so, you know, that's all the houses that's already been built, and I was going to completely scrap the townies, the original townies, but I decided against that because they're very iconic in a sense to Okay, they're not like, well, some of them are iconic, but the, they're just the townies. They're original townies, and I kind of want to keep them around. Uh, but I figured it'd probably, you know, be more fun for me and feel more new and fresh if I was to just completely give them a makeover and then build them a new house so it fits in with my houses and the neighborhoods. I'm not very good at renovating houses not really sure why i've never been very good at it and i think it's because to me renovation is like okay we've got to stick to the exterior the original build of the house we're going to knock some walls down here and there uh but it's just kind of hard to like add on to it when it's a renovation to me and then of course some of the houses <laughs> that the sims team ea has built are just horrendous they're not nice at all and really there's just no fix in some of them so i decided like i said it'd be a lot fresher and more fun for me if i was to just go ahead and build new houses for all the townies and just give them makeovers so that is what we're doing and i wanted to start with the caliente lothario family because i really wanted to build um this m m okay <laughs> don't laugh at me i'm very bad at pronouncing words like awful <laughs> it's mediterranean 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 is that it mediterranean style house i think that's how you pronounce it <laughs> my fiance one night we was trying to figure out where he wanted to go eat and i was like oh let's go to the what did i call it the mediterranean that's it mediterranean let's go to the mediterranean <laughs> uh sandwich company and he was like what <laughs> Mediterranean or Mediterranean, y'all, I don't even know, I'm, I've confused myself, but anyways, y'all know what I'm talking about, I really wanted to build that style house, and this neighborhood in Oasis Springs is so beautiful, it's one of my favorite neighborhoods, and I want to go, obviously, in my save file, I want to build, or go off of the aesthetic of the surrounding houses that you kind of see in the distance, because it kind of makes sense for you know, to, to have your neighborhoods flow. Like, I don't want to be here in Oasis Springs building, you know, houses like Willow Creek because it just doesn't blend in with the surrounding houses and the aesthetic of the world. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyways, um, I think it turned out really nice. I'm very impressed with how this house turned out. And I did build this after we got the update that came with the cool new stairs. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to the Sims team for listening to us. Which, you know, a lot of people complain and say, oh, they don't listen to us, blah, 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 blah. They never give us what we want. They do. They really do. They listen. They hear us. They give us free updates with stuff that we want. And... I'm just, I'm very appreciative of these stairs. It's something that we wasn't expecting. They tend to do that a lot, just kind of throw it out there like, bet you didn't see this coming. And they're right. Half the time when they give updates or 
anything like that, I never ever see it coming. But as far as like the expansion packs and stuff, yeah, we're gonna get University. Obviously, it's kind of been leaked that we're getting it um, in November, so that is very very close, and I'm very excited about it. Can't wait to see a trailer and see you know what new stuff they bring to the game. But uh, it's just it's, it's frustrating to me to hear a lot of people just complaining all the time about the game and yada 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 but i think they do a good job at listening to us and giving us what we want if they you know happen to have made some mistakes in the past i feel like they've been learning from it that's just my personal opinion but anyways enough rambling on about you know the sims team and the game here we are doing the landscaping of this house and i cut out a good probably 15 minutes not even getting. I think this video was probably 35 minutes <laughs> with all of the landscaping that I had going on. I was very indecisive, had no idea what I wanted to do, so I scratched a, a ton of footage. And I decided to go with the plants that came with the Island Living pack just because they're very tropical. Um, and they just kind of like fit in with this area to me. But the main reason is that red right there. I started putting, I put that tree over there. And I just think it looks so pretty up against the house. And then I was like, no, I really need to switch up the plants. Because I have this really bad habit in previous speed builds that I'm trying to break. And, you know, worlds, or not worlds, builds that I'm working on now. I'm trying to break my habit of going off of the same skin color scheme for plants like i'll use all white or all yellow just because i feel like it, it flows and blends well but i see other people in their speed builds and their landscape and they mix all these colors together and it looks so nice and so pretty and so lush and to me it just looks awkward when i do it but watching other people do it i just got to get out of that mindset that it's it's not weird it's I don't know, it's just a thing in my head. So I'm going to start working on that and making my landscaping more colorful. I'm getting better at landscaping. It's still not my strong suit, but I'm, I'm getting a little bit better. But I did decide to go with all red for this house just because uh, Caliente, they just remind me of very romantic sims. <laughs> I don't know, like Caliente hot red. I don't know, but I thought the red you know rose bushes all the way around the house looks so beautiful and it's just not too much i don't know if it's just it's probably the style house and how it kind of brings out that beigey color i don't know the red roof the orangey red roof i'm not sure why it looks so good around this style house but i think the red looks so so beautiful so yeah hope you enjoyed that and of course this house isn't on a very big lot so I was able to squeeze a pool in the backyard as you saw, but anyways, here we are into the interior of the house, and would you look at the stairs? Are they not nice? <laughs> I'm so freaking obsessed with the stairs and building now. I don't, I don't know. I just feel like it makes houses more unique, and I like to follow floor plans. Sometimes I have to make up floor plans on my own. Uh, because I do get inspiration from builds and houses on Pinterest or, you know, floor plan building websites, to be honest. <laughs> um, but sometimes, you know, you can't really translate an exact floor plan from real life into The Sims. So you have to tweak it. And for this house, and I always say this, but I always forget, I will try to link the inspiration picture down below. Um, I was having to kind of sh cut short the house because the house was too big for this lot for me to like build it in its full potential or whatever how it was in real life. Um, so yeah, I did have to use my imagination and work out the floor plan and I'm very proud of myself. I think it turned out really nice, but anyways, it is one, it's four bedrooms and it is one, two, four bathrooms, I do believe. <laughs> um, but in my house for the Caliente family, Don has his own room, which in the original house built by EA, he, I'm assuming, shared a room with Katrina because in the description, what did it say? Um... It's no longer girls only now that Caliente matriarch 
Katrina has moved in her mooch and boy toy, Don, with three fiery, attractive ladies in the house. Will Don remain faithful, or will he get involved with more than one Caliente woman? So, I just assume that Don shared a room with Katrina because she is his uh, boy toy. <laughs> um, but, it's interesting, if you've ever played with their household in The Sims 4, you'll notice that they don't even, they're not even friends. They, they're they like acquaintances. There's no romantic relationship at all. So the way that this works out in my head, in my imagination, is Don being the moocher that he is. He's unemployed in the game. He's obviously a Casanova. He's a ladies man. He is a young adult where Katrina is an adult. So he's younger than her. I do believe that he probably met her and kind of like wooed her and smooth talked her and i imagine that katrina's maybe divorced and she just reminds me of one of those desperate housewives i don't know that's just the vibe i get from her and so she just really liked that attention that she got from don and oh he pulled that poor me you know i just I don't have anywhere to live right now. It's really hard. And she's like, hey, you know what? I have plenty of room at my house. Well, you know, you can come stay, you know, with us until you get on your feet. You know, you get a job and you can start paying rent if you want to stay. Or if you want to, you know, find you an apartment in your own place, that's fine, whatever. But just to help you get on your feet, I have an extra room. So I believe that's kind of how it works because they're not in a relationship um, obviously, them living together, a relationship could, um, spark, and I do believe Katrina kind of wants that, because it would make her feel good about herself, but then you also have her two daughters, Dina and Mina, <laughs> um, and they're probably going to be attracted to him, and he's probably going to be attracted to them, and it's just going to be a big old love rectangle square, I don't know, but yikes. <laughs> That's just kind of the idea that I get behind them, but yeah, I gave him his own room, so it's not really weird if you was to download this family, or if you wanted to play them in the save file, I didn't want to tweak their relationships or change anything because I wanted to keep it true to how EA made them. Um, so you could definitely go off of whatever, you know, storyline you want to tell. Whichever Caliente woman you want him to pursue, it is completely up to you. But, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you are enjoying the house so far and the interior decorating we have going on here as I've been rambling on about this family. Um, I just think it's so nice. It's so pretty. And Katrina is an adult. Like I said, she has two young adult daughters. And she is in the entertainment industry, um, career or whatever. And she doesn't make a ton of money, but I would imagine that maybe her husband at one point did. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that the girl's father passed away and this is how they got the money to afford this nice house? Or do you think that he possibly made a lot of money at one point and Katrina was left with the house because he was the one that left her and that's why she's kind of so desperate for love? I mean, there's so many different ways you can take this story to your own personal preference and gameplay. I really don't know, but I just know that this house is really nice, and I think Katrina's done very well for herself. I do believe that she's probably struggling a little bit paying the bills in this house because it's probably pretty expensive. I haven't play tested it to where the bills have come in, but I'm assuming that it's it's a little bit much for just her income and i do know that dina i'm gonna try not to get dina and nina mixed up but i do know that dina has a job she's in the culinary career track and then nina is unemployed and don is unemployed and it's supposed to be both because they're lazy um <laughs> but i do think that of course dina does contribute as much as she can but Anyways, a fun fact about this family, now that we're kind of like just rambling on and talking about them, is, okay, we know that the Calientes are iconic to the Sims game. They're in every generation of the game that we've seen thus far. But, The Sims 4 is an alternate reality to The Sims original, Sims 2, and Sims 3. Because, you know, in The Sims 
2 is before The Sims 3 and timeline wise which is confusing but if you are <laughs> familiar with The Sims or the expansions and you're an OG Simmer you know what I'm talking about but The Sims 4 is an alternate reality to the other generations of the game so Katrina in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 is not the girl's mother they're actually some kind of like alien hybrid in The Sims 2 their parents are aliens <laughs> so yeah um, I'm not really sure who their father is in The Sims 4. He's not in their family tree or anything. So that's why I say it's kind of up to your imagination. And, you know, Katrina's story is up to your imagination as well. But, anyways, in The Sims 2, <laughs> I liked Nina over Dina. I thought Dina was a thought. <laughs> I thought that she was a gold digger because she was after Mortimer's money. And if you've watched any of my Sims 2 Pleasant View Let's Play, you know that I just think she's the biggest thought, you know, money-hungry hooker that I've ever met in my life. And I, I do like Nina. I felt bad for her because she had this crush on Dawn and she was, you know, in my LP. I had her get pregnant kind of to trap him. <laughs> um... But she's still kind of lazy and, you, you know, I just preferred her over Dina. But in The Sims 4, it's the opposite. I actually prefer Dina over Nina. Um, Dina in The Sims 4, she has a job. Um, I don't get the vibe that she's a moocher or, you know, a thought or anything like that. She's very athletic. Um, she's, a, she's a cool sim. I think she's very pretty when you give her a makeover. They both are. Um, obviously, they're a little bland and plain, but, you know, I'm going to spice them up for my save file. And then, on the other hand, you have Nina, who is lazy. She's wearing a crop top. She's got a hot bod, and she flaunts it around with her little preppy walk that she has going on for her. And I definitely can imagine her being the one that's kind of going after Dawn in The Sims 4. Uh, just because she reminds me of her mom as far as, like, she's desperate. I don't really see that with Dina. I kind of see Dawn going after Dina because she's kind of more hard to get. While the other two, Katrina and Nina, are throwing themselves at him. I don't know. This is so much... This is a great household to play if you want drama. And I really didn't realize that until I started building their house and talking about them. <laughs> so, yeah, I, can assure you that this household could entail a lot of drama for you if you want to play with them. And like I said, I think they're going to be 10 times better in my save file. So yeah, yay for that. <laughs> but of course, before the save file comes out, I will upload the houses to the gallery and the sims that I make over ahead of time. So I'm probably not going to do a video of me making over the sims. Um, because I like to do creative sims where I use custom content. Just because it's a little bit more, you know, fun and attractive to me. I don't, I don't know. That's just, that's what I think. But, anyways, I'm going to use, obviously, no custom content on my makeover sims for my save file. But, if you want to download them, um, you will have to make sure you have the custom content box checked when you're searching. Because... I will have a default skin on them, and I'm not going to take my default skin out just for that reason. Um, I don't know. I may. I may disable custom content when I'm doing the makeovers for The Sims. That way you guys can find them, and I can upload them to the gallery that way. That may be smart. Yeah, I may do that, okay? <laughs> uh, so, I will tweet when I give them a makeover, maybe include a picture of them. So, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter and you're interested in downloading this house and an updated version of the family, be sure to follow me on Twitter. And also, another thing, since this is kind of the first build or whatever on my new save file I'm working on, I am not limiting myself to certain packs. Um... I thought about it, and I still would love to do a save file where I do that. You know, we're in Oasis Springs and in Willow Creek. All the houses are just base game. And, you know, obviously the same with Brendleton Bay. It's cats and dogs. Just for people who only have certain packs. That way you're not missing a bunch of furniture and you're getting the full, you know, extent of the, the save file, if that makes sense. But... 
I don't know. I'm working on my building skills right now and growing my channel. So I don't want to limit myself. I want to be as creative as possible. So for this save file, I'm not limiting myself in any world. So I'm going to be including... I have every pack. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of going, going out there all out. <laughs> so yeah, be aware of that. But... Anyways, on to the speed build. We are into the master ensuite. So this is Katrina's bathroom. And I do show this bathroom. Oh, I, I thought I cut this bathroom out, but apparently I don't. I do believe I show you this bathroom downstairs along with the one on the end of other end of the house. Um, the hall bathroom downstairs. But I don't think I show you me decorating the bathroom that Dawn and Dina share. And then um, Nina has her own ensuite bathroom. And I don't show you how I decorate hers as well. Because it's pretty much the same as the downstairs bathrooms. They mimic each other pretty much the same. I think the wallpaper colors are a little bit different. But... You know, same furniture, same idea. So, I cut that out just to save on the time here. But, anyways, here we are. And we are decorating. This is Dina's room. So, since Dina is more, I guess you would say, active. She's very much into sports. You always see her or working out. Okay, I don't really know if, if sports is her thing. But, I know that you can always find her working out at the gym. She's athletic. So, I did give her like a desk and stuff because she has a job. I imagine that she's a little bit more ambitious than her sister. So I gave her, well, I gave them both a laptop, but anyways, I don't know. Yeah, I forgot I gave them both a laptop. So it's not just because she's more ambitious or anything. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I put a little sports team picture there just maybe, you know, from her high school days. I include the trophy little shelf thing there on the wall I include some picture frame for the mosquito stuff pack and I will go in and fill those pictures in for the save file of like her and her sister or something like that I added some sports equipment there and the reason why I think that they still live with their mom is that they're fairly young adults they're kind of fresh out of high school and debating you know what they want to do with the rest of their lives obviously they you could have them go to college i'm not really sure how college or university is going to work once we get that pack whether you go as a teenager i imagine that you go as a young adult and then you probably don't start aging until after I don't know, maybe maybe you do age. I don't know, I'm excited to see how that works. But anyways, you could have them, you know, if it's possible, which it is possible for any age to go to college. So yeah, you could have them decide to go to college um, once the university comes out. But I imagine that, you know, they're kind of spoiled, obviously. So they probably chose not to go to college. So it kind of explains why their rooms kind of have a teenager -esque looking vibe to it. <laughs> um, and I imagine that Dina still has like her sports equipment from a bunch of teams that she was on when she played sports in high school. And that's where the trophies came from and everything. So, yeah. This is Dawn's room here. And I didn't clutter Dawn's room up at all just because I imagine, like I said, he just moved in. He's, well, they don't know. He's staying. He's the mooch. He's not going anywhere until he finds somebody else he can mooch off of. So, yeah, he hasn't really unpacked much. Just the bare minimum in his room. He's lazy as well. Um, well, I don't know. He might be active. Maybe he's not lazy. I imagine him being a lazy sim, but he doesn't have the lazy trait, if that makes sense. Oh, I guess I do include this bathroom. Okay, so apparently the only bathroom I cut out is... Nina's on sweet, so yeah. I think I meant to cut this out, but I didn't. And I could probably cut it out right now since I haven't uploaded the video and I'm still editing, but I'm not. <laughs> That's the bathroom there that Nina and Dina share, which I'm sure Dina is probably very annoyed that she has to share a bathroom with a man because most men, and I hate to be stereotypical, but they're kind of messy. Thankfully, my fiance is not one of those, and I know there's probably plenty more men that are very neat, and I owe it to his mom because she is a neat freak, so he has learned throughout his life to clean up after himself, so it's great. He's actually a lot more <laughs> neater than I am, so 
yeah <laughs> anyways this here is nina's room gosh their names are too similar it's very confusing but this is her room and i go with a very purple theme i think it's really pretty very girly i think it fits her personality very well and like i said i imagine they're kind of fresh out of high school i'm not really sure who is the older sister in the game i can't remember um but either way i would imagine they're only a year or two older and i think nina is older actually yeah, and she still doesn't have a job. So, yeah, I imagine that she's definitely freeloading off her mom and, you know, just dating around. Kind of just waiting on Mr. Wright to fall right into her lap so she can... Oh, that was my... That's my baby. If you hear, like, grunting going on, that's that's my son. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, I imagine that she's just kind of waiting on, you know, a man in her life so she can have babies and kind of freeload off of him but i definitely think she'd go after somebody with money <laughs> um so i do imagine that she sits out here on her balcony and she is the older sister i imagine i think that's why i gave her i think that's why i gave her that room with her own bathroom in the balcony um just because she's the oldest <laughs> and i believe she's very spoiled so she probably just lounges out by the pool all day long and you know goes to the spa and goes shopping while she should be working <laughs> but anyways over here is a spare bedroom so this house could actually be five bedroom it's pretty big but i decided instead of making it an office or anything like that i would just kind of clutter it up make it you know like a little workout room for um don he likes to work out but also i was thinking about dina uh, because she is you know very much into sports and everything and i put the decoration box in there and then in the hallway i do have a grand piano because katrina is in the music career and i think she has a few skills in piano so yeah i put that in there for her other than that i didn't put a lot of stuff on the walls in the hallway just because it's just very tight space and yeah i didn't didn't think it mattered too much but Anyways, here we are outside, and I put some lounge chairs out by the pool, some floaties in the pool. I think I actually only put one, and yeah, there's not a lot of room back here to do much but swim. Um, I think I put like a table over there, and a, I think I include a grill. I don't know. Do I include a grill? I know I, there's the trash can. I don't know. I thought I put a grill out there, but maybe I didn't. But anyways, they have a few activities out here. But anyways, this build is wrapping up. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know which family you want to see me build a new house for next. Um, this house is available for download on the gallery. And so will The Sims after I give them a makeover. So yeah, stay tuned. Follow me on Twitter to find out when that is going to be uploaded and posted to the gallery for you to go download. But anyways, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys for watching. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.